Welcome to TA Tech. This is the Doo GV20, supposedly a rugged phone that is indestructible. I'm going to leave you it and give it a rating out of 5 in this video. I'll be looking at design, camera, battery, gaming, and durability. Let's get started. So the V20 comes with an extra screen protector included in the box, a 33 watt charger, a pick to open the phone, and the big boy itself, the Doo GV20. A screen protector comes pre-installed on the back screen. This phone is not really shy about its weight. It's a really big phone and it really shows. So on the left side of the phone, you have a dedicated camera button and a SIM card tray that you can open with that pin. And on the right side, you have the lock button, which doubles as a fingerprint sensor, and of course the volume marker. And on the bottom, you have your covered USB charging port. The back has a smooth carbon fiber finish and it's really resistant to fingerprints. You also have a screen protector pre-installed on the phone. Then you have your back screen, which is to control the music and look at the time. But disappointingly, the phone doesn't come with Android 12 out of the box. So I think the design of the V20 is really solid and serves its purpose. I'll give it 2 out of 2 in this category. But now with the main event, the durability of this phone, which is the main purpose this phone was designed around. You'll be actually surprised on how much this phone can handle. So I'm going to start with spraying the phone with water just to test the water resistance of this phone. Let's watch. And then I decided to kick the phone, but I actually missed it. But I decided to include this just for fun. That was a total fail. But anyway, I'm gonna drop the phone now and see how it does with a drop test. Okay, so this one was actually accidental and the phone fell right on its face, but there's not a single scratch on this phone. I'm quite amazed. So now I'm gonna put the phone in a pan of water. The reason is I'm gonna freeze the phone. I'm gonna smash the phone with the ice on the floor. So the phone is actually frozen now and you can see it's still on. It's switched to the clock and let's smash it on the floor. Okay, do this. I actually feel sad for this phone and how much is going through. And now with the fire test, I actually dropped the phone five times in fire just to get these shots. So the phone did actually go through so much more than it's been shown in this video. And I was really shocked that every time I pick up the phone from the fire, the phone looks like hell. And I'm like, this phone is definitely dead. And I pick it up, I clean it up and it's fine. As you can see here, now I'm gonna show you the phone after it's been dropped for the fifth time in the fire. But the minute I clean the phone, it looks completely new. I'm really surprised with the design of this phone. It's been through so much in this video and behind the scenes and it did really well. So it's fairly obvious that this phone is going to get 2 out of 2 in the durability department. So now let's talk about the camera. I'm going to take some pictures and show you some picture samples and tell you my experience with this camera. From my experience, the main shooter is really good. I like the colors, I like the details. And here I'm trying to take a picture with the wide angle camera until I get attacked by the house cat. The wide angle camera is not bad, the detail is good, there's some distortion, so it's actually passable. And here I'm trying to take a close-up shot just to see the details. And as you can see here from the pictures, the detail is fine, the color is nice. And so far I was doing pretty well with the camera. And as I'm trying to take a selfie here to try the selfie camera, I get attacked again by the cat. I actually do like the selfies with this one. I like the details, it's actually blown up a little bit, but I do like it. As for the video, it's actually horrible. There's no way you could film a video with this phone, so don't even think about it. But on the flip side, this phone actually has night vision. I haven't seen any other phone with it. This is in complete darkness. As you can see here, I'm gonna compare with the S21 Ultra. Here's the S21 Ultra, and here's the same scene at the same time, and you can't see anything. So I do like the main shooter and the selfie camera, but I'm okay with the wide angle. The video was horrible, so I give it a one out of two in this category. So the battery life with this phone is something you don't have to worry about. Whether you're a gamer and you like to game for long sessions and you play PUBG all the time, or you like me and you like to binge Netflix every night, or you just got a Steam Deck and you really want to show in this video to make other people jealous so you take pictures of it, this phone is not gonna die. It's gonna give you two to three days in my experience. The fast charging will fill up your 6,000 milliamp power battery pretty fast. Sometimes you don't even think about charging this phone. That's how long it lasts. And giving you that battery comfort, this phone gets a two out of two in this category. Now let's talk about gaming. Now bear in mind, this is not by any chance a gaming phone. So I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna run three different games. So this is PUBG. I'm gonna show you the settings the game runs at. So the game runs at HD and high frame rate. Of course, this is not a gaming phone, so you can't really expect much. But the game actually ran well. You can actually play with it. The frame rate does drop here and there sometimes, but it's not bad. And it's really doable for a survival phone. It's not really a gaming phone, so it's not bad. Now, of course, we're going to try Call of Duty Mobile because it's one of the smoothest games out there. The game runs really smoothly. I'm very surprised with it. As you can see here from the settings, as at medium settings and high frame rates. The frame rates weren't really bad. I feel like the game was really smooth. I had fun playing it. Even for a longer session, this game, uh, the frame rate doesn't really drop that much. So it's really fun to play. 
And lastly, we're going to do Apex Legends. It's one of the best games out there right now, to be honest. I really enjoy playing this game. And surprisingly, it runs really good on this phone. As you can see here from the graphics, it goes to Ultra HD and the frame rate is at high. This means it could go all the way to 40 frames per second. And from my experience, it didn't really drop below that. Even at fighting scenes and everything, the frame rate was always at 40 and it was really smooth experience. So I'm really surprised how this phone could handle Apex Legends, which is one of the most demanding games out there. So even though the games run actually acceptably, I don't think it's a gaming phone, so I'm gonna give it a 1 out of 2 in this category. It's been a pleasure using the V20 as my daily driver for 2 weeks. This phone gets a very good rating of 8 out of 10 in this review. So for those who watched till the end, thank you so much for watching this video. I left the link for this product in the description below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like the channel, subscribe and peace.